Champion, come to Gromash Hold when you are able. I have something important to discuss. Ah, Okor! Thank you for coming. We have much to talk about. It is strange, Okor. Despite the years of peace, I am restless. Despite having the Horde and my son, I am lonely. You feel the same, don't you? I see it in your eyes, and in the eyes of many orcs. I feel, perhaps, that while we have found our way on Azeroth, we have lost our ways as orcs. Come with me. I wish to speak with an old friend about these troubles, and I would like you by my side. When I think of the ways we've lost, I think of the Kosharg. Twice each year, the clans came together, but that tradition died with Dranor. I shared my desire to see it return with Saurfang long before the Fourth War. This is no time for dead traditions, he said. Hmm. He may have been right, then. Perhaps it is finally time for it to live again. Trekthar is ahead. Agra? Etrig, we have come with the children to see Drekthar. Say hello, Riza. <laughs> ah, she is still shy. Come, Drekthar and Thrall are inside. No need to worry, young Durak. When you complete your Om Rigor, your path will reveal itself. Did you become a shaman after your Amrigor, father? I... did not complete the Amrigor. Then... how did you know your path? I... um... Oh, Agra... and Etrig, what brings you here? We, Frostwolves, haven't had many visitors in years. Now we have so many, all at once. My day has been blessed. What brings you an Ikridge? I foresaw this moment long ago, Okor. Today will define the future of our people. Do an old orc a favor. Take my totems and place them around the room. The elements should present for what comes next. Walk with honor. I fear that our people have lost the old ways. It has been long since old traditions were set aside. I wish to see the return of the Koshar. You are right. It has been long. Too long. Many orcs no longer feel they belong to a clan. If I may, we could offer more than just a reunion. The Omrigor tradition has never been enough in my eyes, and many did not have the chance to attempt it. I suggest a new rite of passage, one that teaches not just of the hunt, but of what it means to be an orc. An Omgora, a right of honor, a right for all orcs of age, including you, Goel. Yes! My friend, I asked you here for a reason. You are everything an orc should aspire to be, an example for others to follow. You should be the first 
to complete this new rite. An honor, but one I wish to see you prove yourself worthy of. Will you accept my challenge, champion? I warn you, ancient as I am, I still wield the power of the elements. Itrid's has placed his faith in you. Will you prove yourself worthy of this honor? I accept your challenge. Ancestors, face the might of the Frost Wolves and the strength of the elements. Another will have to preside over the Koshag. If I am to complete the rite, I cannot lead the... Not you, Agralan. Me? Your strength speaks for itself. You are more than ready. Farseer. A title long overdue. I... I am honored. Everything has been decided then. Go with my family to Okamar to prepare for your right. Ikrid and I will gather the clans to meet you in Dortar. Here, take my hearthstone. It will take you to the Broken Tusk. I will see you soon with the assembled clans. For Azeroth. This was meant to be a quiet family visit with Drakthar, and perhaps a conversation with Durak about his future. Instead, we have set off on a path that will affect the Orcish people as a whole. Do not misunderstand me. I think this is the best course of action. It is just surprising how quickly it happened. I am to be a farseer. There is much for us to do. We had best get to it. The Kosharg will be held in Razor Hill. Goel and Etridge are gathering the clans as we speak. We will have to part ways for now. You must begin mentally preparing yourself for the Omgara, the Rite of Honor. It is my task to make sure it is a worthy challenge, even for you. I will call our Wind Riders to carry my family to the Kosharg. You may travel with them or meet us there. My friend, I have much to attend to before the Kosharg. If you would not mind, perhaps you could take Durak and Riza to Razor Hill. I am certain Durak has much to say to you. Mother? I will see you at the Koshark, my friend. of passage. Are you excited? I would be. Drekthar said I'll know my path when I go through it myself. That I shouldn't worry. But I'm not stupid. Everyone expects me to be a shaman like my parents. What if the spirits don't call to me? 
What if I don't want to be a shaman? What then? If I'm honest, I hope that watching you complete this rite will spark something in me. Maybe you'll show me where I should go. Uh, no pressure, though. We're here. I'll watch Riza. You should go find my mother. Akra has changed into ceremonial garb and paint. She looks at you sternly, but briefly flashes a kind smile. She is now officiating your right. Hail, Okor. The clans have been called to the Kusharg and gathered to witness your... Umbara. Are you ready to begin? I, Farseer Agralan of the Frostwolves, called to the clans. Are they assembled? The clans have assembled. We answer the call. I call to our ancestors. May they bless this gathering of old and new. The first Kosharg of Azeroth has begun. And with this gathering, a new rite of passage, the Omgora. This champion has earned the honor of being the first to attempt it. Let the spirits guide you, champion. May you walk with honor. Your Umgara has begun. May the spirits guide you to victory. The Umgora, a rite of honor, earned by three blessings of the clan, of the land, and of the ancestors. When all three have been earned, you will understand what it means to be an orc. To earn the blessing of the land, a young orc must learn respect for the spirits that dwell alongside us. If we do not live in balance with the elements and life around us, it can lead to calamity. I will call the spirits and they will guide us to where your aid is needed. It is up to you to complete the task before you. Spirits of the land, hear my call. Guide this orc to one who most needs our aid. Thunder Ridge. That is where your trial begins. Ancestors watch over you.
the elements are not at peace here. Trust you have hated the spirits of Thunder Ridge. You have done well, Okor. The spirits sing your praises on the wind. Eventually, Thunder Ridge will flourish into a new oasis, benefiting the people of Orgrimmar and the Thunder Lizards alike. You have earned the blessing of the land. To earn the blessing of the clan, a young orc must learn that the clan is only as strong as its members. Prove your strength and worth to the living orcs. Since you were not born into a clan, you must first choose a clan to champion and be accepted by the clan's chieftain. The chieftains have gathered in the barracks. Join a clan and complete the task given to you. The clans come together anew. Choose a clan to champion in your Angora. Greetings, Okar. You wish to learn of my clan? The Warsong clan hails from the plains of Nagrand and Duratar. The mighty Gramash Hellscream led the clan to Azeroth in the Horde's vanguard despite their defeat in the Second War. Most of the clan evaded capture. They later rallied to Thrall's side to free those in the internment camps and build a new home. Look, Tar Ogar, it defines the war song. We value skill on the battlefield above all, and are known for fearsome battle cries. Despite this, we have learned the lessons of our past. We will never again sacrifice honor to achieve victory. The fall of Garrosh Hellscream has ensured that. I would be honored to fight by your side as Warsong Okor. I did not know you were from the Warsong clan. I, I fought in the Warsong offense to honor my family's memories. My parents were Warsong and chose to bring my sister and I through the dark portal as children. Gramosh did not approve of this and exiled us from his camp. The four of us wandered the wilderness, eventually finding ourselves ambushed by human soldiers and Arathi. My parents were slain, and Krenna and I were thrown in Durnhold. And then what happened? After the camps were freed, Krenna and I followed Thrall to Durtar. We lost contact with our relatives still in the Warsong. We became soldiers of the Horde and nothing else. We quickly climbed the ranks. After Krenna's death, the Horde was all I had. After the fall of Garrosh Hellscream, 
my uncle, Gargok, reached out, wishing to make our family whole again. The war song were shattered by what Garrosh had become. I went to them in Ashenvale and found a new place to belong. I eventually proved my strength to all of them through Mukra. And now I lead the war song. I will never allow us to lose our honor again. I wish to join the war song clan. Glad to hear it, Okor. Come, let us speak with the Farseer about your task. Your path has been chosen. You are ready to proceed. I am honored to be representing my clan at the first Kosharg of Azeroth. I only wish... I wish my sister was still here to see it. Farseer Argerlin has decided that the blessing of the clan will take inspiration of the Omergar. We still value a young orc's abilities to hunt and kill. You will track and kill a beast without your armor while acting as a champion of the war song. But it can't be just any beast. You must be challenged for one as mighty as you. We have decided to send you on a hunt for an unknown monster that has been stalking the residents of the Valley of Trials. The peons have taken to calling it Gorkrash, the Long Knives. Seek out Coltonk and investigate. Once the beast is slain, take a trophy as proof of your deed and paint your face with its blood as proof for the Farseer. Look, Tar Ogar, bring honor to yourself and the war song. Remember, you must bring back a trophy from your kill and paint your face with the blood of your prey. And you are forbidden from wearing armor until Gorkrush is slain. Go with honor. Is that you, Ogor? Look at how much you've grown. But why are you here? They've sent you to deal with the Gorkrush? Thank the ancestors. Gorkrush, the Long Knight has been terrorizing the Valley of Trials for weeks. Orcs have been going missing, and many of our young trainees have been injured. The Pelons took to calling the mysterious attacker the Long Knives, because a few bodies have found all have long, terrible gashes across their backs. They're terrified and refuse to work. We have no idea who or what or crash really is, but they are clearly very dangerous. Please find this monster and end this madness. What have you found? You told Poltonk about the large three-pointed print, Karanasha's mention of raptors, the peon witness account, and the bodies with deep slashes. So you're telling me Gorkrosh is actually a huge white raptor? If Gorkrosh is truly a raptor, you should be able to track it down just like any other animal. See if you can find its trail. We know it's been around here recently. Corner it in its lair and end this once and for all. Make sure you return to Razor Hill straight once you make the kill. The Farseer will need proof of the deed. Thank you, Okor. May the spirits guide your blade. Lokar!
Argrog inspects the blood on your face carefully. Satisfied with what she sees, she nods. A clear kill. You have defended the young and weak honorably. The spirits are pleased. You have earned the blessing of the clan. May you have your clothes back. The war song accept your trophy, Loktar Ogar. The blessing of the ancestors is meant to teach young orcs that the living owe everything to those who've come before. We must honor the ancestors, seek their wisdom, and live up to their expectations. Your task is to craft an offering worthy of the honored dead and worthy of being the centerpiece at the offering stone of the first Kosharg of Azeroth. You must put all of your energy into its construction, or it will not be enough. Cook Torka will guide you. The ancestors will be watching. Go with on Mother, may I accompany the champion on this part of their Angora? As you wish, Durak. Do your best to stay out of the way. Of course I will. So, the big hero comes to cook Torka for help, eh? Fine. But you're going to have to do most of the work yourself. I can guide you in crafting your offering to the ancestors. But you will need two things. First, you need to know the basics. Arugi here can teach you how to cook if you don't already know. Second, I need an old cookbook. We're going to make something truly special. A fusion of old Drenar and Azeroth. And I'm going to need it for reference. Go fetch my book from the inn and we can get started. This book is in the inn? Let's go! I'll look over here! Oh, you found it! Good work! Victory. Ah, here we are. It may not look like much, but this old thing made it through the dark portal. It's a family heirloom from before the Horde. Unusual for an orc, I know. My great-grandmother, Cook Barasha, collected recipes from all the clans at each Kashrag. As I understand it, she didn't trust anyone else to get it right. So she wrote it all down. We have stories of her awesome stubbornness. <laughs> Enough reminiscing. Time to get cooking. Hope you're ready. We have some work ahead of us. In here is a recipe for a traditional feast left for the ancestors at the, the Kosh Harg by the clans. We're going to have to substitute some ingredients that, you know, no longer exist. But it will be for the better. We'll bring some Azeroth flair to this traditional dish. I will teach you each piece of the recipe, but it will be up to you to gather the ingredients and actually cook it. Orc traders have come from all over, so you should be able to find everything you need right here in Razor Hill. Don't forget to read the cookbook. It has recipes you will need. Wow, we need a lot. I'll start a list. Are those two arguing about ale? Grown-ups are strange. That guy over there looks a little shady, but we should see what he has for sale. That's Nula from Garadar. 
She'll have Talbuk meat. Glory to the whore. One of these fishermen should have the salmon we need. That's everything. Now you just need to cook it. Now that we have everything on the list, you just have to put it all together, right? How hard could that be? Um, I'm going to let you handle it, though. I'll watch. Very good. Place your feast at the offering stone to the southeast. May your efforts be rewarded and your offerings accepted. That smells delicious! Do the dead actually eat? You did it! How do we know if it worked? Your offering is worthy, my friend. You have earned our blessing. May your actions continue to lead the orcs to honor and glory. If you would, tell Etrig he was right. And Thrall, tell him I am heartened to have dragged him out of seclusion. Ah, and you, Durak, son of Thrall. Me? You will find your path in due time, and it will lead you to greatness. I... I will do my best. Thank you. Go now with honor. Always. Did that really just happen? Father speaks of Sourfang often. He misses him. You have done well. It is a rare thing for the ancestors to cross over and manifest before an offering. Yours must have been truly worthy. I hope Durak appreciates the honor that was just bestowed upon him as well. When the Umgora is finished, you should pass on the message you received for the others. I think he would appreciate it. She offers you a quick wink. You have successfully completed the Omgara. Congratulations, Okar. Now it is time for us to celebrate. We have prepared a feast for all in attendance. In your honor, go. Revel in the glory you have earned. Enjoy yourself. If any of these orcs get out of line, remind them why you were the one who was chosen to complete the new rite first. Our champion has completed the Amgora. Let us feast in their honor. Lokhtar! You have done well, Okor. I have not seen the orc so hopeful about the future <laughs> since we liberated the internment camps. Others are now lining up to complete the Umgora themselves. But they are fools if they think they will go before me. I will be the second orc to complete it. And in few years, Durok will be old enough as well. He is very excited. Sorfang had a message for you. Let Sorfang. What was his message? <laughs> I am glad you did too, old friend. Yes. I think it's time to draw this celebration to a close. There is such a thing as partying too hard. The Kashkarag has been a great success. In no small part thanks to you, Okar. All that is left is for Ogra to perform the ceremony to bring the festival to an unofficial close. I will speak to the crowd before we all disperse again. On some things long overdue in being said. Thank you all for honoring us with your presence here. 
When our people came to Azeroth from Draenor, ours was not an easy road. And along the way, many of our ancient traditions were lost. But the time has come to remember the rites of old, and to build new traditions that honor our proud legacy. This champion is the first to complete the new rite of Amgora. Let their footsteps be followed for generations to come. Loktar. And so, we bring the first Kosharg of Azeroth to an end. May the honored ancestors watch over us all until next we meet. It warms my heart for so many of us to be together again and not to march off to war. Sorofang had a message for you. Goodbye. Ha! Only in death would he admit it. Oh, I miss him. A new age has dawned for our people, Okor. I could have never imagined bringing you in on my old fool's crusade would have led to this moment. We had this armor specially made just for you. You have more than earned it. Hail, Okar, Champion of the Orcs! Stay strong! So this one's like Blackrock style. This one's like Frostwolf style. And this one's like more traditional Horde, but also Warsong. For the Horde! 